Great. Well done. In part seven, things are going to get more serious. We're going to learn our shields up position and how to stop a bully who's starting to get nasty. Shields up, stun and run. This is the most important part of the whole workshop. If you don't do anything else, if you haven't practiced so far, please practice this. Practice this. Shields up, stun and run. Back to the workshop. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to get the bully to come up to too close. They're going to be at handshaking distance or even closer. They're going to come up and be in your face distance, all right? Handshaking distance. And they're going to be being aggressive. And we're going to deal with that. Now then, um, just sit down for me, Mitch, please. Who's seen The Incredibles? Who's seen The Incredibles? What is the girl's name in The Incredibles who's got that thing around her? Violet, Violet out of The Incredibles. And what, what's she got around? What does she produce? Shield. A shield, all right? Or shields up, like in Star Trek. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create shields that keep the bully further away than they want to be. We're going to keep them at the safer distance. The further away, the better. So, stand up again for me, please, Mitch. So I want you to come in and be the bully. Just a, That's it, half a step. That is now too close. This is very much handshaking distance, and he can start to hit me if he wants to. And I'm getting a bit worried about Mitch. He might be getting aggressive. So, what we're going to do, we're going to put our uh, uh, right leg backwards so we step further away. We're already further away because I've stepped back. But what I don't want is for him to get any closer. So I'm going to put my hand up here, up in front of his face, and I'm going to lift the other one up in front of to the side of my nose here. This is my shields up position. Now, Mitch, try and do a hook punch with that hand. I can block him. Do a hook punch with the other hand. I can block him. This is a much safer place to be than here. Because now if he wants to punch me, ugh, I haven't got time to work it out. So we're going to go to a shields up position. Stepping back, arm up in front of his face. Talk to the hand because the face ain't listening. Is that right? Is that what they say? And the other hand up, thumb just in front of the nose here. Now then, there's some words that go with that if Mitch is a bully. Just move back again for me, please. And what I want you to do is I want you to come in and be aggressive and horrible. Ask for my crisps. Okay, uh, wait a second. And then I am going to do my shields up position. Come forwards. Give me your crisps. No, no, no! Now then, at that point, Mitch has got a couple of choices. The usual choice is, I'm a nutter, okay? He thinks, I'm a nutter, all right? I'll leave him alone. Inside his brain, he's thinking, this person knows what they're doing. I don't think I'm going to pick on this person. I think I've picked on the wrong person. So, once more, in you come, Mitch. Give me your crisps. No, no, no! And back off. OK, it's your turn to have a practice. As the bully gets near to you, step back. Shields up. Remember where the hands go. No, no, no. Now, pause the video and practice. Try it a few times until you get comfortable with it. Did you practice? If you didn't, stop now. Stop the video now and practice. OK, let's go back to the workshop. Now then, if they decide that they're a, a crazy bully person and they want to carry on, the next thing they'll do is move my hand out the way or they'll move forward and try and get past my hand. If they do that, what we're going to do is move back a little bit further and we're still going to keep our shields up. So watch. Give me your crisps. No, no, no! Give me your crisps. Back off! And back off is my final warning. 
Let's add the second part now to the first. Practice shields up. No, no, no. Move back again and say back off. Nice and strong. Now remember what I said earlier. If somebody is threatening you, you have the legal right to defend yourself. It is no good waiting until you get punched and you're lying on the floor for you to decide that you are going to punch them. At that point, it's too late. So I've given Mitch two opportunities to decide not to bully me. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to stop him bullying me. So, watch this. Give me your crisp. No, no, no. Give me your crisp. Back off. Bang. So, after the second time, if he moves my hand out the way for the second time, I know he's serious. At that point, I'm going to hit him with the palm of my hand on the chest, very hard. I'm going to stun him. Move back for me. This knocks the wind out of people. It doesn't put them in hospital. It doesn't ruin their lives. It knocks the, wi <coughs> knocks the wind out of people. Once I've done the stun, the next thing is run. Run. Stun and run. So watch. We'll do it one more time. Crisps. No, no, no. Give me your crisps. Back off. Bang. And run. Okay, it's your turn to practice stun and run, right the way through. Take your time, make sure you're careful with your partner. Don't go whacking on. It's only practice. Put me on pause, off you go. Well done, you've learnt the most important part of the video. Please make sure you practice shields up, stun and run. In the next chapter, we're going to learn some self-defense. We're going to learn what happens if a bully tries to grab hold of you. We're going to learn to deal with these people.